I'm Lynn Peterson with your news across Nevada. Federal land managers have announced plans to remove about 182 wild horses and burros from the northern edge of the Mojave Desert near Tonopah. U.S. Bureau of Land Management officials say the Montezuma Peak and Paymaster Herd management areas are arid and do not provide suitable habitat for a large number of the animals. They say about 45 Mustangs will be removed from around the Paymaster HMA to reach an appropriate le management level of 23 Mustangs. And they say about 61 bureaus burrows and 78 horses will be removed from around the Montezuma Peak HMA to achieve appropriate management level of three Mustangs and 10 burrows. BLM officials say they plan to begin the roundup on Monday and a public observation day is set for Tuesday or Wednesday. Boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. has been booked into Clark County Detention Center on a grand charge larceny. Earlier, his ex-girlfriend filed, filed a complaint of domestic battery against the boxer. Another charge of domestic violence could be added later. Mayweather is accused of beating up his former girlfriend, Josie Harris. Harris is the mother of three of Mayweather's children. Police say Mayweather went in her home Thursday morning in the southwest part of the valley, reportedly upset over her new boyfriend. Mayweather is accused of punching her in the head, pulling her hair, and attempting to break her arm. He's also accused of taking things from her home, which accounts for the grand larceny charge. The district attorney's office will decide on a charge of domestic violence. A stabbing during a fight at Reno High School has sent two students to the hospital. Washoe County School District spokeswoman Nancy Luegan says the fight broke out between two male students in a hallway between classes early in the afternoon. She says one of the students is accused of stabbing the other student multiple times. The victim is listed in stable condition in a hospital's intensive care unit after undergoing surgery. Luhagen says the student with the knife suffered minor injuries and was taken to another hospital for treatment. The 12.40 p.m. incident, first reported by the Reno Gazette Journal, is under investigation. Regulators say monthly casino winnings in Nevada continued to slide in July, dropping 4.9%. The State Gaming Control Board reported Friday that casinos won almost $830 million in the first month of the new fiscal year, which is down from almost $873 million in July of 2009. Tax collections based on those winnings totaled almost $50 million. That was up from $43 million in June, but down a whopping 13% compared with the same period in 2009. Casino revenues are a key economic indicator in Nevada, which leads the nation in unemployment, foreclosures, and bankruptcy rates. Casinos throughout the state reported decreases in the amount they took in after gamblers' wages and winnings. Las Vegas Strip casino winnings were flat, but represented more than half the state total. And that's your news across Nevada. I'm Lynn Peterson.